Al rejoins us now. I understand today's tractor tails originally came from north of the border. That's right, John. It's part of Canada's military history. During a recent visit to Mecham Auctions in southern Wisconsin, we met a gentleman with a relic from World War II. This tractor was built by Case, served his time in the 40s, moving very sensitive material for the Canadian Air Force. Okay, this is a 1945 VAIW case. Uh, this particular unit was sold to the, the Royal Canadian Air Force. It was used up in Saskatchewan uh, during and right after World War II to load bombs on Lancaster bombers. It was pretty well dented up. The hood was pretty tough shape when it came. The seat was gone. Uh, it, it was just hard, it was used very hard. The Air Force sold it back uh, to a case dealer up in near Saskatoon, and he used it in the shop to raise implements and stuff that just to, as a kind of a lift truck around the shop. So it kind of got beat up from that. I didn't even know what color it was supposed to be. So I called the Air Force base up in Saskatchewan and said, do you have any idea what color this should be? Oh, he says, I remember those. And he said they were either yellow or orange. But he said, I really can't tell you what shade of a color it should be. But I tell you what, he said, if you call the Royal Canadian Air Force Museum down in Ontario, he said, I think they can help you. So I called out there and he said it should be what they call highway yellow. They were loading bombs on the front that weighed from 500 to 1,000 pounds. And so they, the whole back end of it is all cast. And then you got the extra weights in back. And so it was designed specifically for loading bombs. It's drivable, it runs. Uh, it does not have power steering. So it steers a little hard. I thought it's unique. It should go in a museum some places where it should go, where people can see it and enjoy it.